Welcome back. It's a Friday morning on your Feel Good Breakfast show. And of course, 2017 has rolled out the red carpet one more time for another big deal movie event. The Festival du Cannes has been in full swing since Wednesday. And our movie guy, JP Sebastian, is here to chat uh, about what's on offer and, of course, what's making big news. So lay it out for us, Mr. JP. Uh, so the Cannes Festival, if, if you're one of those people who wanted to put your foot through the TV for the Oscars, Usually you couldn't wait for Cannes to come up. You know, like if, they, if you felt they gave the wrong award to yeah, the wrong yeah, movie yeah. and whatnot. Uh, but it's not necessarily all snobbish, you know. Like, uh, they, they have all sorts of celebrities all over the years now. Last year it was Charlize Theron's turn to show up there for The Last Face, unfortunately, which got booed and whatnot. Sure. And Javier Bardem. Uh, George Clooney's been there, you know. Uh, so big names, too. It's not just, like, necessarily niche or artistic. This year it's about over 90 movies that they've got an offer. And what's quite nice compared to the Oscars is 29 different countries that it comes from. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's a very like it's a very careful selection. It's not necessarily thousands that they go through and um, yeah, uh, it's, it's something to look forward to. It's going to be happening for the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Now, when you talk about 90 movies that have to kind of be, go uh, that they have to go through, how do they make this official selection? Uh, so, uh, on, on the ju jury, there are um, uh, fa famous actors, famous directors, all people who have been, uh, a lot of the time, past winners. Yeah. Uh, and uh, some of the movies, I just want to talk about what people are getting excited about in particular, because yeah, yeah, yeah. time is of the essence, uh, is uh, Nicole Kidman. Looks like she's going to be having a good time. She's Why? up for three movies <gasps> that are for the official selection, Stop. including The Beguiled, which is going to be a, a sexually charged thriller um, uh, during the civil, the civil War. So, uh, Beguiled, is that how I say it for now? Three movies, that's insane, <laughs> yeah. at the same time. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then the next one that's uh, causing a lot of interest is called Wonderstruck. Mm -hmm. uh, by, uh, it's, it's got uh, Julianne Moore in it. And it's one of those sort of parallel fantasies. If you remember Cloud Atlas, things happening at oh, different yes. times, but mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It looks really beautiful. I'll show you a bit more of that as, as time goes by. But the one that I'm particularly excited for is Okja, which Okja. is a South Korean film director, but it, uh, it's got Tilda Swinton, Jake Gyllenhaal, Paul <gasps> Dano. Um, and it's this cute little uh, story about a little girl who's got this magical creature, this pet, that uh, if you remember my neighbor Totoro, it's like a you know a little a guy that she hangs out with. Not as, it looks like a pig. It looks like a yeah. it's hard to ex explain. But a corporation kidnaps it from her mm. and tries to take it from to, back to the states where they want to mm. uh, turn it into livestock and whatnot. So she has wow. to rescue the thing. It's it's kind of dark but okay. cute at the same time. It's it looks beautiful. Dark, I'll let you know more in time. But I hear there's also been a bit of infighting among the jury panelists. Mm -hmm, already, it's like since Wednesday that the thing has started. And Will Smith is there. Uh, he's uh, on the jury. Uh, including uh, Pedro Alm Alm Almodovar, uh, who is a famous director who's had his fair share of, of uh, time at Cannes. Yeah. Uh, so the thing is, and I think they're both right, uh, Almodovar is of the opinion that including movies like Okja that I just spoke about, that are from streaming services like Netflix, mm. shouldn't happen. Okay. And so almost as a, as a foregone conclusion, him as the president of the jurors has decided this is not going to be part of the festival, which is uh, possibly unfair. Yeah. He says that the cinema experience is something that's quite particular. The way he describes it is your screen should never be smaller than your chair. Oh, and, and I kind of get what he's saying, the yeah. way you want to abstract yourself to a dreamlike state and whatnot. Will Smith, on the other hand, makes a good point too. He says, I've got two kids and they switch between being able to watch Netflix and go to the cinema. Like, it's not mutually exclusive. Yeah. So, uh, that's I actually I get both causing... of their arguments, And if you actually. watch it on VR, then it kind of, kind of takes away that question, because you can't watch Netflix in that kind of zone where you feel like you're in another space. So. And well, interestingly, sure. there's a VR movie that's uh, up that they're not even talking about in that way, because it's by a brilliant director, and I'll tell you more about that maybe All right, time. JP, thank you so, so much. So, uh, yeah, if you do t tend to agree with Big Willie, let us know what you think about it, and of course, uh, be sure to catch the latest in quality cinema at your nearest new metro.